here we are. We bought, bought this beauty here. It's been a long process. This is actually the second house that we uh, were in contract with. We backed out of the first one. It didn't need anything, any work done or anything. It was just, uh, it was almost a little too perfect. It kind of made me itch a little bit. So, and you're gonna see why we, we chose this one here in a minute, but right when you pull up, you see the curb appeal. Um, it just screams professional landscape job. You see the, uh, this holly here has been well maintained. The tree's good. The front yard, tremendous job. I mean, you know, the nice rolling hills they have here. It's just all around, they did a great job. If you're following me, Towards the house. <laughs> your step. Watch your step. <laughs> like I said, a little gradient there. Just kind of nice. Well, I mean, and as you enter, you know, this, I mean, we couldn't pass it up. It just, it was screaming at us, you know. Well, foreclosure a little foreclosure action. Here. So, if you come on in here, you'll see a little more. And right away, when you when you approach the place, you know the door the doorknob is one of a kind here you, doorknob where you, you bolt it here I mean first impressions mean everything I think and when you come up to a house and you see this on the door I mean beautiful you know and then you walk in right away you see this unique carpet and it comes actually pre-stained this is actually a pre-stained rug there's a mint um, it's inspired by if you've ever been driving on interstate 80 and you see like a big roadkill deer splatter that's what it's, this uh, rug Staying here is inspired by. You follow me to the dining room area. Easy. Again, I just, everything here is top notch. You know, nothing but the best. So, you follow me here, and then we went with a different flooring choice. We went with the, um, we went with the laminate wood, because that ugly hardwood underneath it, you want to cover that up with some laminate. Um, walking into the, into the kitchen, and you know what? Kitchen and bath, that's what sells a house. And I think you'll see here why we chose this house right here in the kitchen. As soon as you come in, you know, great stuck on floors here. We got, uh, you know, if you notice, we went green here. We don't have a refrigerator, we don't have a stove. See, it's just the perfect green kitchen. You know, I figure, you know, what do you need those things for? And then we got a skylight. You know, it's kind of dark in here right now, but you got the skylight just to kind of let some Airflow and some more light in here. Uh, let's go upstairs, I guess. Got it for the downstairs. Right here, looking out into the uh, porch. Oops. <laughs> Just kind of an adjustable. They got an adjustable shutter system. Just watch that there. Okay. Here, watch this. There you go. And again, like I said, kitchen and bath. Two things that sell a home. You saw the kitchen, now we see the bath. It doesn't get much better than this. You know, you walk in here, got the blue tile going, this floor, I'm not sure what it is. It's just real sweet. Um, the bathtub, pretty nice setup. You got your soap dish holder. Kind of stick it in there. Shower head, just a straight, you know, that's kind of a new modern look there. The shower head, it just shoots it straight at you. You know, days of the, the big sunflower nozzles over, I guess. Closet. The cloud room, this is um, Van Gogh inspired. Really nice job on the paint here. Um, just kind of that dreamy Van Gogh landscape look. I think it's pretty nice. Check out the view here from the, from the master. That's in the master bedroom. Bedroom number two. I mean, this is nice. Pink, pink room. We'll probably keep these. Just kind of, you know, adds a little character. The fairies here, the ballerinas. It matches the pink pretty nicely, I think. Again, the carpet choice is phenomenal. And the master, coming with the yellow and green theme. I think that's sweet. Um, a couple stains we'll probably want to look into, maybe clean that up. But, you know, really, it's, it's moving condition, I think. 
turnkey ready. It's turnkey ready. <laughs> As our realtor told us, I, I, you know, it's turnkey ready. Here's our outdoor living space, the porch. Got a fireplace, which is tricky because it's really gas. Because it's that nice. cobwebs. That look there where it's a fireplace, but it's a gas. Couple spiders in here. Mm -hmm. Some insects, some wood damage. But I think, you know, other than that, it's pretty nice. Welcome to the backyard, or as I like to call it, the lower 40. Again, immaculately maintained and well landscaped. Found a wild mint in. <laughs> in Ouch. Just kind of meanders here around the bushes. Raspberry bush bushes. <laughs> Strawberries. Strawberries. I found a strawberry. strawberry. That's all big, is it, man? This thing here is doing pretty well. Seems to have attracted a vine. Yeah. And if you follow me, continue down the path. Jeez. It was a hard winter. We got some trees down. <laughs> if I'm gonna make it. This is the end of the property line here. Back here, just the natives live back there. We don't have any neighbors but the natives. That's about it. Bear, elk, buck. Princess wants to go see the neighbors. And men pins. There's the back door from the basement that comes out the backyard. I'm thinking that couldn't be kicked in. Well, thanks and welcome to our home. Uh, our castle, as we like to call it. Pretty much like we said, turnkey ready. We're excited to get our stuff moved in here and make it a home. Came across a little mini Lego truck. A little rolling rock. A little pencil. Rolling rock. According to the neighbor, the house was actually way more trashed before. Trash in the yard. What is that? A dog leaf collar? Um, trash throughout the yard. So it actually is in good condition. What do you think? Hey. What do you think?